Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses for our Fall of the Republic 1.0 preview playthrough as the CIS in the Outer Rim Sieges map. In the last episode we took Liana, so we have a, another shipyard uh, on its way for us. And we have taken Trench's forces down to Bandamir and Mandalore. We're getting Dooku together with some of these ground forces. Uh, but we also are getting attacked in uh, in the core on Empress Tita by... Seven Venators, three VSDs, Neutron Star, which is a really powerful one. Uh, but we do have a Recusant Dreadnought and, what, a level two shipyard? So we'll see. Uh, but for those watching on YouTube, this is being recorded live on Twitch, so I'm going to be answering some questions from chat as we go. Um, yeah, so we've got the new texture for ecumenopolis planets in the background though i don't think this lighting really shows it off super well on this particular map activating energy all right so let's turn towards that and i'm gonna move these guys back here reinforcements on route cruiser here this way. Reinforcements on route. Frequency open. Reinforcements on route. I don't think we're gonna be able to kill that much, but I, I'm hoping maybe, uh, maybe a venator. Take out a venator. It's gonna be especially hard taking advantage of. Uh, garrison forces when they're coming out this far, but that'll definitely have to be fixed sooner than later. You can also see some Z flighting, or Z fighting on the uh, attacker, so the light needs to just be shifted up a little bit more. Uh, that happens when the it's trying to render like two things at the same height. <laughs> this is a useless place for these to come in. <laughs> That's probably going to be a better side for that. Alright, maybe with the two Venators up front, we'll get something done here. Space Station under attack. Direct fire at their laser cannons. Alright, it's going to be... The Golan will be tanking, so I think we can pull through with, uh, with these guys. Direct fire at their laser cannon. I read everything in chat, but I can't respond to every single message directly, and I'm reading out every single message directly wouldn't really make much sense. Target those lasers. Reinforcements on route. Direct fire at their laser cannon. We might be able to kill one Venator. Target those lasers. But I'd like to kill it and still keep the recusant. Our space station is under attack. Uh, no, I think we got to I think we got to retreat. Thank you, Angry Eck, for subscribing. Have you put any of the units in the submissions channel from the Community Challenge yet? Uh, no, that channel only went up a couple days ago. Uh, and there's still a ton of other units that are on the spreadsheet that aren't coded in yet, so I'm adding them to the spreadsheet. And then uh, I was working on getting the heroes in for the last episode. Good 
Uh, Garki and Teta. I don't think we're going to get this finished before they invade. I don't even think we'll get that finished. Where's... Oh, there's Bob's Pity. So that has the other unique providence, Lucid Voice. Uh, maybe we'll use that on Kashyyyk. Because once we take Centauri's, we can go to Roche with this fleet and Kashyyyk with this fleet. And uh, that'll be all we need there. Oh, these are not mine. The color on those two factions is probably a little bit too similar. So even I have struggle. I have trouble with it sometimes. Ready for duty. So we've got Dodonna, Wessex, and Yalar in here. Uh, Shaq and I have played EAW together before. We have no immediate plans for videos like that again together, but we are working on some tabletop, or I'm uh, learning to do GMing in the Star Wars tabletop thing, and then uh, we have tentative plans for me to run a game for him, Ek, Charlie, and Mark from the Temple Institute. I don't think we'll be able to kill anything of use here either. If I'd been able to get that Providence into the fleet earlier, then maybe. But I'm starting to think our best move with our credits might be to work in the uh, the sub factions. I'm not sure if we started them at 50% in this one or if we bumped it up. Because 50 is the default, but there are scripts we have that can... Are they not showing? That's not handy. Oh, I don't think I ever converted it for the new system, so I have no idea. Uh, well, we'll just do it anyways. Where is... You... Let's get the, the Vulture research. Unit in production. And then maybe on Javin. Where do we want the most? I kind of think we want the banking clan the most. Researching, researching. Research complete. Researching, research complete. Research complete. Enemy fleet. Approaching. Let's invade Lonic. Research complete. All right. Our base is under attack. Already, we've secured a build tower. Uh, we don't have any HMPs, that's sad, but I guess we can kill some civilians while we're here. Let's get over there, because I think that's where the sensor array is. Alright, kill the lat. This vehicle factory is not going to be able to do much on account of the whole uh, being right beside the landing zone. This is usually meant for like 
Um, the ground to space weapons, like out base positions. Isn't there a sensor up there? Here, let's actually move back here. Okay, so it is still up there now. Uh, so get up there. Get up here. And I'm going to try to get a field base. So let's get a support field base there. Alright, you guys get up. You shoot the, the turret. And... Here. Get up here again. Go down there. No, we're waiting for them with our turrets. All right, now get up there. A lot of terrible fire is still a lot of fire. Thank you, MPRs, for subscribing. I'm not sure if I said your name correctly, but thank you either way. Maybe we can defend this. I'm not sure what's going to happen once the uh, orbital bombardments and bombing runs start happening, but I'm willing to find out. Alright, back off now. We can get up here and get some, uh, some build pads. We don't need to cover every inch of the map. Uh, we might even want to get some AA turrets, just in case. Yeah, there's one right there. So that's sad. Construction complete. We've secured a build pad. These ones on the edge of the map are always hard to get. Alright. There we go. So we know they won't have a bombing run for a little bit. Alright, we'll get up there. What are you dropping off? I don't know that we're going to have any new uh, landers in the coming release. That isn't really uh, a focus yet still. But... There will be more in the future, because right now it's just the uh, the hard sell for the CIS and the uh, um, CR-20s and CR-25s for the Republic, so that will eventually be fleshed out more. There, let's do it that way. Here, get up here. I feel like they're either going to bomb here, or they're going to bomb here, which means they're either going to come this way or this way. Thank you, Twisted Waffle. What's your favorite post-clone warship? See, I've never had it framed that way. I don't know. That takes away my default answer. 
It's cruel. Construction complete. Uh, I don't know. We've lost a gold pad. I've never had to think about that before. Looks like they're waiting for us. There. We've secured a build pad. I used to really like assault frigates. They're pretty cool. But I don't know. Nebula Star Destroyer, pretty cool. I, I know that's kind of a stealing X answer, but it's a good answer. Assault Frigate 1, not Assault Frigate 2. I don't really like the Assault Frigate 2. Here, kill the lat. And... Is that the A6 coming? The A6 has got to be coming sometime. Here, take that turret. Alright. There we go. They dropped it on us. Okay, there's the A6. There was the bombing run. I think we actually killed two of the bombers there. Back off. Alright, now we're going to back off here as well. Construction complete. The clones are out there. Turret constructing. The truth is out there. Patrick Stewart. This would be a good time for this. Construction complete. Base is under attack. We've secured a build. Ooh, yes, get in range of the other one. Please, do it. I beg of you. Hey, you killed my other turret. Would it be possible to make defensive bombing runs possible? Would it be worth it? Not bombing runs per se, uh, but there are some like fighter strikes that we are planning to do that are different from bombing runs, some similar principles, but... Uh, would be accessible probably to both sides because we we know it's popular for fighters to be in ground and in, involved in ground battles but i feel like that's either you make them actually like fighters in which case they're overpowered or you just make them like uh air speeders that look like fighters which just feels kind of cheap so they, we want to make sure that if we do fighters on ground that they're they feel appropriately impactful without being overpowered all right it's really just this a6 left and these little guys here here, get over here so that they stop feeling the need to sit still. We've secured a build pad. We've lost a build pad. And this is going to be a map that gets uh, regularly attacked, so... Having some extra defenses built up permanently wouldn't be terrible. Oops, clicked outside the window. Construction complete. 
That was scary. We've secured a build pad. We've secured a build pad. We've secured a build pad. All right, we gotta try this. It looks like they don't want to move. So it'll probably be a, a bloodbath killing the last bit of this A6. A droid bath. An oil bath. We got them though. We got them. Honk honk. I'm sure you guys can hear that. Alright. Uh... Which is this? Shuttle shield, large radius around the base. So we want that, and I want to get the base defenses on there as well. Uh, we'll just defend on ground there. We're gonna. Nope. Oh. We're gonna retreat from this. I haven't taken any screenshots for the uh, shipyards, so seemed like a good idea at the time. Okay. Uh, Lonic is probably gonna just die. So I think we really need this info on Fondor. Alright, we're gonna combine that. I am just gonna auto-resolve this, I think. No, we might be able to hold this. We have $2,600, so, or 2,600 credits. Hey, look, we can see everything. So we'll do that. We'll get that. Do that. Do that. Then we're going to go forward to get a field base up here. So they really didn't bring that much. Construction complete. Construction complete. Get support. Get an AA turret. Maybe get an AV turret back there. A Tritone. The real question will be, how many bombers do we get hit by? I was hoping the LEAT would land and go straight for the base. That would have been epic. But I think the Juggernaut will be the first thing to get to us vehicle-wise. Alright, now let's get back to the base. Yay indeed. Well, no, we'll keep some of this out here. Some of this over here. 
You guys are better off in the front lines. All right, we're gonna fight around the the anti-vehicle turret just because it'll be a, a good advantage with the juggernaut. We got saber tanks coming in. It'll be a good advantage if we're all attacking it at the same time. There we go. All right, here comes the bombing run. Guys, just get out of there. With properly placed uh, turrets, you can kill the bombing runs now. So that's helpful. But this map is so straight. I don't know that we're going to get too much use out of that before they actually get in range of anything. Alright, juggernauts are going to kite. That we can't worry about too much. It'll just, it'll hit what it'll hit. Here, I'm gonna keep uh, going towards that next uh, landing zone. So are they going all the way back here with their stuff? No, they've got a repair pad. What a bunch of jerks. Let's see if we can get one here then. A vehicle turret, AV turret. Spend like. 2.2 grand here already. You can invest a lot in any individual ground battle if you really want to. Alright. I don't like that. Construction complete. Securing area. They've decided to just hunker around their bunker. So we're going to go kill that. Actually, we might be able to just kill this before it gets back into range. Yeah. You could do it even faster if you guys were attacking as well. Alright, now we'll need to kill this. Rip. Hey, Mr. Puerto Rican. We are being nothing but successful. Yeah, that's what I thought. Go away, dicks. That's two successful defenses in a row. It's pretty good. Uh... I don't know that we can get either of those planets right now. But if we can just defend those while being active in other places, that's probably fine. Uh, 
attacking at Centaurius is going to be kind of difficult. Boss Pity, let's get some artillery. And let's take Bandamere. Popular. Oh, okay. Do they actually control ground on Mandalore then? Possibly not. Cool. So there will be like actual Mandalorian units on the ground in the future, but that is not this day. Hmm. <laughs> oh, and here are the generic Jedi, so you can actually build individual Jedi now, but we're going to murder them, so... This isn't going to be a great indication of what they're able to do in battle, because uh, they're just in a transport, and they will either retreat or I will explode them. So, you know. Yeah, they're retreating. But I think that's actually going to do it for our third episode here. So for those watching on Twitch... Uh, stay tuned. We're going to do three more. For those watching on YouTube, thank you for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.